Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 897 due to and we're gonna solve the second problem that is exot palindromes. So instead of solving it directly, let's first try to read the problem statement and understand the problem statement first because in this case the problem statement is like somewhat tricky, right? So let's say you are given a binary string s, let's say of length n, let's say n is 5. We are just taking example to understand the problem statement 10101. One. A number x is good. Okay, let's take a number. It is if there exists a binary string L, okay, some binary string of length n, it should have 5 and uh, length and containing x ones. Let's say it have two ones and length should be n, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, such that each symbol SI is replaced by SI XOR LA. So this one should be replaced with SI XOR. What is XOR? If it's the same number, it's 0. If it's a different number, it's 1. So that is XOR. Now I will write here 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. It is what? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So then we got some value. Then the string S becomes a palindrome. Now if you XOR it, this should be a palindrome. That's what they are asking. Now what they are telling is, you need to output. They are telling this. Now what they are asking is, you need to output a binary string T of length n plus 1 where ti is 0 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n. If 1 to n means n is the length, here n plus 1, okay. So 0 to n, in this case it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the numbers. Is equal to, every character should be equal to 1 if number i is good or 0 otherwise. That means, if we take 0, that means this is x, okay. If it is good means what? If x equal to 0, there are 0 number of ones, there exists some l, such that if you XOR it with S, the resultant XOR will be a palindrome. No, if it is a palindrome, you need to print 1. If it is not a palindrome, you need to print 0. So in this case, I took x equal to 2. I'm telling that some L exists. I'm taking a random L here. I'm taking the XOR. If it is not an, a palindrome, I just have to print 0. It is just like telling that yes, no. For x equal to 2, it's no. Instead of yes, no, yes, no, like that, they are just asking, just print the binary string of 1, 0, 0, like that. Now, uh, I hope you understood. Now, let's quickly jump on to the example and uh, just see. Now, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, they gave us an example. We have to check for each of the numbers from 0 to 6. So, for 0, they are telling that there does not exist any uh, uh, 0 number of 1s having L binary strict. If you exert it, the resultant will be palindrome. So they kept zero. Here, if you notice one thing, for T2, they kept one, right? Zero, one, two, they kept one because uh, they are telling that for X equal to one, there exists some L that are having two ones uh, and having a length of six. If you exert this value with S, you are getting a palindrome here. So they kept one here. Similarly, for four also, they are telling the same. Now we will uh, try to, un we understood the problem. It can be any L. Now let's see uh, how to solve this. So we, uh, what do we know? We know what is XOR, we know what is palindrome. So what is the basic logic of palindrome means? Uh, if one zero zero one means can means first and last should be same. Second last and uh, second first should be same. Like you are going from this, right? The, if you reverse it also, it should be same. It start also, it should be same. Now. What is the role of a XOR here? If you understand correctly, let's understand like if it is 0, 1. Let's say, is this a palindrome? It's not a palindrome, right? If I want to make it a palindrome, I'm telling that the number of 1s can come. If I can add 1, can it become a palindrome? So in this case, if I add 1 to the 0's position, it I should do like 1 XOR 0, right? 1 XOR 0 means what? It is 1, 1. Or, if I add, if I XOR 1 with this one, I did for this, if I XOR 1 with this one, what happens? 0, 1 XOR 1, same number, it's 0. Now in both cases, if there is a mismatch and if you are inserting a 1, we can say that this is a palindrome and this is a palindrome. So what happens is, the numbers are just getting flipped. 1 becomes 0 or 0 becomes 1. 1 represents the number of operations, okay? So I'm telling that this much number of operations I have, I can just make 0 as 1 or 1 as 0, just flipping the bits, that's all. So we understood that the position does not matter, it just matters that I just want to, uh, is it possible for me with like uh, 
for this x equal to 2 with two operations with two flips will i be able to make it as a palindrome or not we understood till this now uh, let's take an example like uh, uh, some example there are let's say these are all like uh, following the palindrome thing that is these are all the same but 1 0 and 0 sorry 1 0 1 0 here 1 and 0 is not a palindrome and 0 and 1 is not a palindrome what does it mean here is there are two mismatches so two mismatches are there now let's try to figure out first what did this is from 0 to n okay this is some n for 0 if i am not introducing any changes not introducing any flips will i be able to make it anything it's not a palindrome right so it is 0 only now if i am introducing one flip here maybe i'll change here i can't make it as a palindrome if i make 0 here still 1 0 is not a palindrome so for one flip also it is not there if i make two flips here two flips what can i do i can make maybe this one and this one zero can be one and zero can be one it is possible so from two the flip uh, if we are able to flip number of mismatches everything is taken place so if two mismatches are there if i'm able to do at least two flips then uh, we are able to make it as palindrome so we will make it as one here since this is already a palindrome there can be multiple cases here one is if it is even or if it is odd let's uh, so now you understood that we need at least n number of flips we are not concerned about position we are just concerned about who can be flipped that's all so we need at least n uh, at least mismatch number of flips to make it a palindrome now as i told you earlier this is already a palindrome right so if this is already a palindrome there are two cases it can be odd case or even case okay so let's assume this is already a palindrome this is also already a palindrome now uh, this is not yet done so okay let's assume that the mismatch has been covered now now in the next step i am forced uh, the mismatch have been made as matched i am forced to introduce one here so that this value should be flipped okay so suppose let's say this is 0 0 0 this is a palindrome i have to introduce one somehow so that this becomes a pal this uh, like i have to introduce one somehow what will i do if it is odd number i'll make it as one in the middle element right in the odd element so i can mark it as one in the even element if i mark it the uh, inequality or like the palindrome condition is gone so i make it as zero okay now i can in i want to introduce one more element one more one that is for four for five elements like these are matched this is matched and one more one this is not a palindrome but for odd in this case instead of putting one one here i can put one one here this one i moved it here and this one, uh, new one come here so one is here now for this two ones are here already one is there this one i came one again came okay now what if i have one more one here in one more one what will i do i'll simply flip all of this so let's say that these got flipped already and i'm introducing a new one here okay so new one here i am putting one so in case if some more numbers are here if in case if some more numbers are here like one one or something if one more one comes for this case alone what will i do if one more one comes means i will simply say that this one can go here this one can go here if one more one comes this one can go here and this one can go here so in odd cases if there are uh, once we are able to uh, fulfill the mismatches we can definitely say that whatever be the matches already there it's always one only okay whatever be the matches already there always we can whatever ones come we can always adjust and do but for even number initially we told for one alone we can't for double pairs it's possible then again i am getting some more numbers like um, this is a palindrome right now again i am introducing one more one here if i introduce one more one again the inequality like it's not a palindrome right it becomes zero again if i introduce one more one again i can make one x or one zero or something like that one so in even it is alternate in odd if um, two numbers come i can put it inside or one number come i can put it in the middle element now in even if only one number come it is we are losing the existing palindrome it's not a palindrome now 
existing match is not a match if two numbers come then even though if it's zero zero i can make it as one one even if it is one one i can make it as zero so we got it till now now we let's assume we reached it till this point now we are going to the mismatch point see the number can be anywhere or zero one anything we are not caring we are just caring about the flips now if we reach here we already arranged for one zero right this is already matched we already arranged for one zero also now again if i'm introducing one this here whatever i matched here is destroyed so one mismatch is again coming place so i say that it is not a palindrome then again if i do already i fixed it i told that there are two mismatches i fixed it then again i'm telling that uh, i want to introduce one means this again gets flipped again so one if i introduce one it again gets flipped so we are basically telling that um, initially i fixed the mismatches for first two matches i fixed it then last two again if i am forcing it there it becomes a mismatch so that's all so let's uh, what did we find out so we found out that uh, introducing a one to the xor introducing a one to the number means it means the number of flips that are possible now how uh, number of flips that are possible means we initially know what are all the mismatch that is there this i just showed the position it can be the same that this can be a match or this can be matched like that so we know that if um, we know a set of mismatches that are there initially and uh, we until at least if we are able to get that much number of ones if there are two mismatches at least i need two ones then only on the two syntax in 0 1 2 2 i can keep as match else everything will be zero similarly we uh, for even numbers we understood that we can we need at least two uh, ones together to make it as that even though if it is uh, matched if i introduce only a single one after that for five six seven it will be a mismatch so we fixed for odd everything will be one zero and similarly after going to it if two mismatches are there last two elements will be back to zeros why are we telling that it is back to zero it's because these two are repaired there are corrected as palindromes there are corrected as matches or corrected as flips since we has already corrected again i am telling that okay you go and change again means here it's already corrected if i change again here means it gets triggered right if one one is here i am telling if one zero is here i am introducing the first zero here okay zero zero is there then again i am forced to add a one means it is zero one right it is a mismatch so last two are there so that's all now how did we code it we tell that how many mismatches are available now until mismatch minus one i tell that at least i need this much number of mismatches to make it as uh, one right so i am telling everything as zero zero means until zero to something the answer is no you can't find any l value if it is odd number i can say that uh, everything will be one till n minus mismatch why are we telling everything as one if you are getting a single number we we can just uh, take the middle element and take it flip it if you are getting double except the middle will take the double uh, its sides so like that and similarly for even number we kept a flag here so for alternate elements we keep 0 1 0 1 like that so for the first match we'll keep one then again one more zero comes means uh, again one more one comes means one gets flipped so that match is gone so if one two three four comes if all are matched if one more one comes means this becomes zero right so it becomes zero now again one more one comes means i can tell that it's one already i can make both of them as zero zero so that is possible so i just alternated now i am telling that uh, once that is done i go to the end my uh, last mismatches so already i repaired for two mismatches then already the matched ones i'm handling it then again this two matches should be reverted back like i since i repaired already if, if i try to repair the right side again it will be flipped back right so that's why it's zero so you the only thing that you can learn is just trace out this so you will be able to understand i hope i explained uh, my best so uh, let me know in the comments so that uh, i'll improve on further videos uh, let's see thank you so much see you in the next